Hi, in this five minute video I'd like to show you a brief demonstration of the latest version of the Thermos tool, which is an open source software application designed to help in the early stage planning of heat networks. The tool is the main output of the Thermos project, which was funded under the EU Horizon 2020 program, and you can find out more information here on our website. The tool itself is accessible through a web browser and to access the free version you just need to log in with a username and password. One of the first things to do is to create a new map by defining your area of interest. As Thermos uses buildings and road geometry from OpenStreetMap as the default map data and so can be used for almost any location. It's then very easy to select an area which the tool can import and use the geometry of the buildings to estimate energy demands using a sophisticated heat demand model. Accuracy can be increased if building height data is made available from, for example, a LiDAR data set or it's also possible to upload your own local GIS mapping data, which may better describe the roads, buildings and their heat demands in your location of interest. We can then import the map and let Thermos run its energy demand estimation model. Once the map has been generated, it can be displayed in the main scenario setting part of Thermos. Here you can view the selected buildings and paths, make a selection and view summary information in the right hand panel, such as peak and annual heat demand. You can also select objects directly in the map view and edit their parameters. And you can add buildings and pathways which aren't displayed on the map. You can then start selecting the buildings and pathways you think might have potential for a heat network. and you can make it optional for these to be included in the optimization analysis or you can make specific objects mandatory to be included or you can exclude objects from the analysis. You'll also need to introduce a heat supply location by choosing a building or adding a point which will host an energy plant and specifying a few key basic parameters to be used in the model such as supply capacity, capital costs, cost of heat supply and emission factors. Other key variables can be set via the options menu such as the financial objectives the optimizer will base its calculations on, tariffs and pipe and connection costs. In the objective menu, you can instruct the model to maximize on net present value of the network, which only considers the revenue the network generates, or you can maximize whole system NPV, where the optimizer aims to minimize the total cost of supplying heat by including the option of insulating buildings to reduce heat demand and specifying non-networked energy supply systems, such as individual heat pumps, if this works out as a cheaper option. Once we're happy with the scenario we've set up, it's a simple matter of running the network optimizer and seeing if a solution can be found. If an optimized network has been identified, as in this case, a simple color scheme indicates what has and what has not been included in the network. And having selected the network, you can review key summary information again in the right hand panel such as diversified peak heat supply and the annual heat supplied. We can also look at the numerical results more closely in the solution summary to see how the network might perform financially, for example in terms of net present value. And of course it's very quick and easy to edit the map 
or other input parameters and run the optimization model again to assess the impact. Other features include cooling network optimization and energy supply optimization, which is done separately to network analysis by considering hourly heat demand profiles and heat storage capacity. Hopefully that gives you a useful overview of Thermos and how it could benefit you in heat network planning. You can try out all these features using the free version of the tool, which is available via the link on the Thermos website. Thanks for listening.